While Micron is one of the oldest manufacturers of memory in the world, the Ballistics brand is fairly new and it includes the high-end gaming memory models from the company. This is the Ballistic Tactical Tracer DDR4 16GB, available at prices around 164 US dollars or 168 euros, but the prices can be higher without discounts or rebates. This kit is running by default at 2666MHz from the factory. The kit comes packaged in a standard transparent soft plastic case. This, as usual, doesn't offer much protection for the products. The tracer models, ever since the beginning of Micron and Crucial brands, had some form of integrated LEDs into them. And given the current trends, it is clear that the tactical tracer kits are fully RGB enabled. But before that, these kits have a bit of a secret. You see, that white bar at the top of each stick of memory is meant for light and color diffusion only. However, it does increase the overall height of the RAM sticks by a lot. But contrary to other manufacturers, in the in the case of the ballistic brands, that white bar is removable. And in order to remove the bar, all you have to do is to gently push out the two plastic pins that keep it attached. Those are found on both sides of the RAM stick. Once the pins are removed, the white light diffuser slides up or down and detaches from the stick, leaving all the RGB LEDs in exposed. And this is the tracer kit with both diffusers installed, and here it is with one of them removed. As you can see, the LEDs are completely exposed and the light is emitted straight ahead instead of being evenly scattered around. The total space saved by removing the white diffuser is approximately 4mm in height. Now, not a lot, however, I have been in countless situations when the CPU cooler heatsink would hit the top of the RAM radiators and clearing the RAM modules would be possible within a tolerance of 1 to 2mm. All in all, this feature is a welcome addition to the kit, especially given that it can be done by everyone and it requires no tools. Before we move on with the performance and software sections, let's take a few moments to appreciate how good of a design these RAM kits actually have. There is no distasteful gaming elements anywhere to be found. The metal heatsinks are coated in a wonderful gunmetal grey color with subtle angled indents on each side, along side perforations on the top and the bottom. The ballistics and micron logos are subtly painted in the middle and the tactical badge is pre-applied on the corners. The heatsink itself is also a dual layer design that allows to be slimmer over Overall without compromising on the 3D perforations and elements present. The kit can be configured using Micron's own piece of software called MOD. It offers in-depth details about the timings and voltages of the modules, but the most advanced feature of this program is the LED configuration. It allows for each of the LEDs installed on the stick to be configured as a standalone unit. The tracers come by default with up to 12 illumination modes that have to be enabled in the MOD software. The illumination has, however, a bit of a struggle. If the speed of the animations is lowered, the color shifting gains a bit of lag and becomes rough. This is especially noticeable if you are using a gradient over multiple colors for the illumination. The only solution so far for not seeing the rough transitions between colors is to increase the speed of the animations. Now that we are done with the aesthetic side of things, let's move on to the actual performance and technical specifications of these modules. From the factory, this kit is running at 2666MHz, but, but the more important are the factory timings, those being 16, 18, 18, 48, running at 1.2 volts. With some tweaking into the BIOS, I managed to overpower the kit from 2666MHz up to 3066MHz, without much trouble indeed. However, I had to increase the voltage from 1.2 volts to 1.35 volts to get the system to even boot into the OS. As always, I have to explain that many games do not take advantage of higher mem memory frequencies, but some do, such as the case of the rise of the Tomb Raider. In this graph, you can see the overall performance of this kit at stop frequency and overclocked. In this game alone, the overclocking to 3000 MHz gained on average 5 frames per second. There is more performance to be gained with the tweaking of the latency and timings alongside the frequency. But that is a case-by-case -case scenario as each RAM module behaves differently under overclocking. So what actually makes the tactical tracers worth the asking price in an ever-rising price market for RAM memory? The most important thing about these kits is the overclocking potential, both in frequency and timings. Another feature must be the adjustable height of the heatsinks due to the diffuser being removable. But overall, the ballistic tactical tracers are a very good choice, a good design, not flashy, and a good overclocking and out-of-the-box performance.